My life was very hectic um, and very unstructured. I bounced back and forth between my grandma, my dad, and my mom. Um, and I wound up in foster care officially when I was a sophomore in high school. This is where I grew up. This is where I got placed um, when I got placed into foster care. This is the only foster home that I lived in, actually, um, which is rare for most people. That's how I met my foster mom, Carol. And from there, I was introduced to a foundation in St. Albans, the Independent Living Program, which helps um, foster kids who age out of the system, which was me, um, live independently as I grow up. And that program helped me <laughs> get my driver's license. Um, they also helped me apply for colleges, um, like Champlain, and they helped me apply for scholarships. Then I was referred to Spectrum um, in Burlington, uh, and I began working with them when I transferred to Champlain freshman year of college. Um, when I first met with her, we developed a budget, um, my monthly budget, and we started talking about college deposits because Champlain was like, 1200 <laughs> to start and I didn't have that. Um, they helped me with textbooks while I was transferring. They made sure I had everything I needed, that I was had a place to live. I was living in the dorms at the time. Uh, more recently, Spectrum still helps me with monthly stipends to help pay my bills while I'm in college so I don't have to work so much. Um, they still help me with textbooks. They still help me with college deposits. Um, they also, last November, my car got broken into while I was traveling and I got everything stolen, including my laptop, my purse, which had my wallet, my social security card, driver's license, all that stuff. Um, the Monday after my car got broken into, I had a meeting with the director, Mark Redmond, and he helped me get a new laptop, he helped me make appointments for my car to get fixed, and they hooked me up with a new driver's license, a new social security card. Um, they basically replaced everything. <laughs> Spectrum also has its drop-in center, which is well known for, which has a like a health clinic um, for people that don't have health care. Um, they also have a counseling department. They can do drug and alcohol abuse counseling. They assign everybody to a worker who helps with monthly budgets um, and other stuff. They can refer you to cooking classes, they can refer you to any kind of daily stuff that anybody would need to function as an adult on their own. I know they have the jobs program um, which helps um, people get training for any kind of career that they want to do. Um, they help you with college, like me. Without Spectrum, um, I probably would still be in St. Albans. I might not have gone this far in college. I probably wouldn't have the budgeting skills I have today. I wouldn't be able to afford a lot of things that I can afford now. But also, I probably wouldn't have the close relationships that I have, not only with my worker, but also with other adults, um, like in the system. I think overall I've learned, um, being with Spectrum, that there are really good people out there. Um, I didn't realize all the opportunities that were up here in Burlington, because in St. Albans there's not really, they don't have, um, I mean Spectrum has branched out there now, but they don't have a lot of the services that Chittenden County offers to its residents. My goals for the future are I'm supposed to graduate in 2013 from Champlain with a social work degree. So I'd like to pursue my master's degree. I chose social work as a degree um, not only because of my experience with the foster care system, but also I didn't know anything about Spectrum before I was involved in it. And I think seeing the program function, it taught me a lot about other programs in Burlington as well and that really interested me um, as you know, a human services major. I think overall I just you know, like to give back to the system that has helped me. For more information on Spectrum and on what you can do to help, 
visit spectrumvt.org.